Sometimes it's hard to get yourself to do the things that you need to do. Why would you delay things that are important that will help you to reach your goals? And you wonder why that is. You have this huge goal yet you cannot seem to push through the mental block that you have something that you want to do full time but you can't seem to beat procrastination so this is something that we see over and over and over again and it's this idea that you don't ever start you stay trapped in your head we are what we repeatedly do there are mental habits that are bad there are emotional habits that are bad there are physical habits that are bad. The worst habit, and you're gonna you're gonna hate me for saying this, the first hour of the day is touching your phone. It's the worst thing you could do because you have that addiction to it. And it, I'll tell you the reason why you don't want to do it. When you wake up, talking about brainwave states, we're talking about superhero states. Your brain cycles through different brainwaves. Beta is when you're most awake. This is you're in beta, most of you right now. Delta is when you're asleep. In between, theta. And beta, when you're most awake, is a state called alpha. Right? It's a state you go in when you meditate. States you go into when you do deep breathing. Your character is formed by habits. And habits are formed by discipline or the lack of discipline. You have good habits because you discipline yourself. We have bad habits because we don't discipline ourselves. So that discipline becomes habits and those habits become our character. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. I've viewed myself as, you know, slightly above average in talent. And where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Most people who procrastinate are they're in a state of procrastination. That's the feeling, right? Or they have a poor strategy for executing things, getting things done. One of the best ways of changing your state is by moving your body, right? Because as your body moves, your brain grooves. The thing about life and business and success is that you have to be willing to start. And for people that procrastinate, starting is the hardest part. For people that worry, for people that think too big, starting is the hardest part. If you want to get off the cycle of bad habits and average choices that you've been living in, go out of your way to take a small step forward, then another and another. I learned very young that you, you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that I'm going to lay in this next 10 minutes. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. And soon you have a wall. Yeah. And I think psychologically, the advantage that, that that gives me over a lot of people that I have been in competition with in different situations is it's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, exactly. the, the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, one brick. How do you force yourself to do it? You can wake up in the morning and say, today I'm committing to making small progress on this thing I'm curious about. I believe there's a success formula and it takes two parts. It takes first showing up. 50% of success is just showing up. I think in life you want to show up, show up for your health, show up for your relationships, show up for your career, show up for your service. But just showing up, is that just going to get the job done? No, you have to play full out why you're doing the things that you're doing. Why do you have the bad habits that you have? Like when you find yourself at the same point over and over and saying, oh, this is like Groundhog Day. Why is it that I just keep landing in the same spot over and over? Well, you have to look at it and say, you know, what are the things leading up to that? What are the decisions I'm making? What are the habits I'm doing? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? And pretty soon you can start to recognize your own patterns. When you can recognize your own patterns, that's when you can create change. You will feel resistance. You will struggle. You will start to feel like it needs to be perfect. You're going to come up with excuses. You're going to talk yourself out of it. Why? Well, because you're used to thinking and now you're asking yourself to do. Why am I explaining what you should expect? The reason why I'm explaining what you should expect is because it's normal to feel those things. It's normal to feel scared. It's normal to feel 
like you don't want to do it. It's normal to think about doing it perfect. Letting those things stop you is a choice. The road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. The only solution is micro action. That's it. I don't want to hear shit about your big goals. In fact, for everybody out there, I don't want to hear shit about your dreams and your goals until you're actually taking the actions every day for a couple weeks straight. You don't get to talk about your dreams until you can prove that you wake up and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. If you can do that consistently for a month, then you can start talking about your dreams. Then you can start talking about how you make money at it. Then you can start talking about how you build skill around it. But until you can actually get your ass out of bed and make the commitment to yourself to do the actions required, you're just all talking.